So I recently had a question from someone that wanted to know, will consuming cruciferous increase or decrease estrogen in my body? Okay, they were concerned about consuming too much because they didn't want to increase the risk of getting cancer because they heard that cruciferous was a phytoestrogen, okay, a plant-based estrogen. There are different types of estrogen in the body. There are types that increase your risk for cancer, and there are types of estrogen that do not, okay? So if your ratio is very, very uh, low in the type of estrogen that is protective against cancer and very high in the type of estrogen that increases your risk for cancer, then you want to consume cruciferous because there are certain compounds in cruciferous vegetables that shift the ratio from the bad to the good. So they lower the bad and they increase the good estrogen. That's what it does. So you don't have to worry about it causing cancer. Uh, it'll actually help protect against cancer. Now, a lot of the research has been done on animals because it's very difficult to do this type of research on humans simply because there's so many variables. But we do know that cruciferous has unique compounds like indole-3-carbonyl, for example, that then uh, turn into additional products called DIM. I'm not going to give you the long term for it. But DIM has the capacity to create apoptosis, which basically is the killing of cancer cells. Uh, DNA protection. It decreases the vascular supply to tumors. It will help you detoxify chemicals in the liver. It can act as an antioxidant to protect the DNA. It also can decrease the spread of cancer cells. And it can even decrease tumor growth. And DIM can even be consumed in a concentrated form as a supplement. Uh, one pill of DIM is equivalent to two pounds of broccoli. And there's a tremendous amount of research right now going on using DIM in many different types of cancer. Another concern that people have is consuming cruciferous if they have a slow thyroid, or will the cruciferous slow their thyroid? The benefits of cruciferous are huge, okay? So you want to consume cruciferous. If you're concerned about uh, cruciferous depleting your iodine, just take some sea kelp, okay? One sea kelp tablet in the morning will give you plenty. Uh, but the benefit of having a little bit of cruciferous each day is huge. And that would be broccoli, cauliflower, kale, cabbage, mustard, uh, radish, bok choy, Brussels sprouts. So in summary, cruciferous has certain unique compounds that shift the type of estrogen that you have to be more protective against the risk of cancer. Thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, would you mind putting a comment down below to tell me what you think about this video?